Hi all, Ziv from Elementor here. Today we will focus on the conditions, triggers and advanced rules of the new pop-up feature added to Elementor 2.4. We will go over all the settings that help fine-tune the combinations of user actions that will display your pop-up to match specific use cases. So now let's hit publish to open the conditions, triggers and advanced rules menu. Let's start off with the conditions. We set the conditions that determine where the pop-up is used throughout the site. By pressing the Include button, we can decide to include or exclude parts of the website. As you can see, there are three areas, Entire Site, Archives and Singular. For example, if you choose Entire Site, it will display the pop-up everywhere across the site. You can get very detailed as well, for example, by selecting specific post categories or authors. The cool thing is that we can add multiple conditions as well. Just click Add Condition to set them. Go ahead, explore the options and set your own conditions to match your specific use case. Now that we have defined where the pop-up is showed throughout the site, let's move on to the triggers, which are the user actions that make your pop-up appear. Click Next, and you can also hit the Save and Close button at any time during the process if you need to work on something else, and come back to it later. We can set the pop-up to show on Page Load where we can set it to show within a certain amount of time the page is loaded. Leaving this empty, for example, but switch to Yes, will make the pop-up show directly on page load. The time is defined in seconds, which you can set over here. On Scroll allows us to set it to show when a user scrolls a certain percentage of the page. The scrolling direction is set to Down by default because this is the user's natural behavior. Here you set the percentage within, allowing you to set the pop-up to show after a user has seen a certain amount of the page. Selecting up doesn't give you the option to set a number because the user has been exposed to this part of the page already. On scroll to element, we can set it to show when a user reaches a specific element on the page. This is done by typing the selector's ID or class over here. On click gives us the option to set the pop-up to show after a user has clicked the mouse a certain amount of times. After an activity allows us to set it to show after a certain amount of time your visitor has been inactive. The idle time. This can come in handy when your user has lost attention and you want to gently get it back. And you can also set the pop-up to show when a user intends to exit the page. With the On Page Exit Intent option, basically the pop-up will be triggered the moment your user's mouse starts moving towards the outside of the page, indicating an intent to leave it. Now, we can fine-tune terms for when the pop-ups appear even more. In order to set them, click Next. Here, in the Advanced Rules section, we can set very specific requirements that have to be met for the pop-up to appear. We can set the pop-up to show under the following terms. After X amount of page views. Let's say you want the pop-up to appear after your visitor has viewed three pages. You can go ahead and set the amount over here. Same goes for after X amount of sessions. Just enter the amount over here and the pop-up will appear after, let's say, three website visits. Show up to X amount of times limits the amount of times the pop-up appears. When visitors arrive from specific URLs, we can set the pop-up to show or hide. The URL is entered here. Regex is for advanced users and allows you to combine several rules that need to be met for the pop-up to either show or not. You can enter the Regex here. Show the pop-up when visitors arrive from external links, meaning anywhere outside your website, internal links anywhere inside your site's domain, or from search engines such as Google or Bing. We can decide not to show the pop-up for logged in users, possibly for membership sites. And finally, we can also decide whether or not to show it on desktop, tablet, or on mobile. Now let's go ahead and hit save and close. If you want to change any of the settings you've just set up, just go ahead and click the save options arrow over here. As you can see, it gives us the possibility to directly enter the Conditions, Triggers and Advanced Rules menu. Well, that's it. As you can see, using Conditions, Triggers and Advanced Settings combinations empowers you to create targeted pop-ups for any use case, while at the same time improving user experience and generating more sales and conversions. A real power tool! Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and pop-ups tutorials. See you later!